All right, people, so we're back on Breaking Dawn this morning. We've got Seth Viola aboard with us, and for the next 10 minutes, uh, we will be chatting with Seth, and uh, as it relates to the topic, it's glycoside and metformin hydrochloride, if I get that correct. Seth, morning to you. Morning, morning. All right, so glycoside and metformin hydrochloride, uh, topics for this morning, those are two of the main diabetic medications that's used uh, locally and, and also internationally as well. The um, reason why I decide to do this as a topic is because, um, you know, our, our citizenry has a habit of using stuff without understanding what it does. So we're going to try to bring a little knowledge right. to what these, thing, um, what these drugs actually do. And also, I've had numerous people, either they call me or when they came to do consultations, they would mention things like, while on medication, when they do their, their skin prick tests, where they're testing their blood sugar levels on a daily, it's always within the correct range. But then when they go and they do a HbA1c, every time they do a HbA1c, their readings continues to escalate. All right. So on the skin prick test, everything is looking good and fine. But when they do a HbA1c test, they are becoming more and more diabetic. All right. Glycation is taking place at higher levels. So by understanding how these medications work. It would give people a better idea as to why that is happening and to understand what I say that medication is just simply a symptom suppressor and does nothing for root cause. All right. And we need to get out of the habit of constantly focusing on suppressing symptoms and not dealing with the root cause because it's going to put you in a worse situation because that gives you a false sense of security. So let's go to the first one. Let me share my screen here. All right. So just to give people an idea of glycoside mm -hmm. and the brands that it fall under. So here is a list of some of the brands that it fall under. Some of the words um, I would have difficulty pronouncing myself. But you all would see it and, and you all would be able to recognize it from which brand you have. Diamicron being a very popular one that is used. Uh, yeah, I know that one. Here. I know that one. Yes, yeah, I know that. Yeah. All right, that and brand. then we have with metformin here now. Let me um, pull up the metformin here now. So these are the brands, and the one used down here that most people are familiar with is the term glucophage. All right, so these are the brands that these products fall under, that these drugs come under. All right, so let's talk about them. So glycoside, the purpose of it, when you take it, it blocks receptors in your pancreas, which would force your pancreas to produce more insulin. So what happens if your pancreas is producing more insulin? Of course, you're going to have a greater uptake of glucose from your bloodstream, therefore less glucose in your bloodstream. But we need to remember something. Type 2 diabetes is when your cells become insulin resistant. So your cells are resisting insulin because the body has to produce a lot of insulin because of the high amount of sugar that is in your bloodstream. So by taking a product to cause your pancreas to produce even more insulin, right, and to force your cells to absorb more insulin when your cells are already telling you, hey, you have too much sugar in your system and we are now rejecting insulin, that is not going to be a good thing. So it can lead to overworking your pancreas, all right? And because you haven't dealt with the actual root cause, which is you are consuming too much sugar. Mm -hmm. If you haven't dealt with the root cause, now you could get glycation taking place on your insulin because sugar can attach itself to practically anything. So now you have glycated insulin, which would be even more resisted by your cells when it comes to absorption. So eventually, you're going to either have to increase your doses, right, or put you on, on insulin injections directly. And of course, if you continue to do stuff like that, you're going to end up on um, dialysis and have all those other issues that eventually leads to death. All right. So why people are here 
getting a false sense of security by mm -hmm. taking the medication, they are not doing what they're supposed to do, which is addressing the root cause. Not addressing the root cause, it's not going to reverse your diabetes. Taking the medication is not going to reverse your diabetes. All right? And this is something you need to understand. When it comes to metformin now, metformin on the other hand, the role of metformin, it does about three things when someone consumes it. One is that it reduces your liver's production of uh, sugar, of glucose. So it reduces your liver production of glucose. Right. It makes your cells uh, more insulin sensitive, so it forces your cells to absorb more insulin. And the third one, it reduces the absorption of sugar in your gut. So your gut reduces the absorption of sugar. So you get less sugar in your bloodstream. So how you end up with less sugar in your bloodstream from metformin? You have less production of sugar by the body. You have uh, insulin sensitivity. So your cells are going to absorb more insulin. And then you have less absorption of sugar in your digestive system. Mm. Keep in mind, it does any of them address the fact that you are consuming too consuming much sugar? sugar? Yeah, yeah. I was no. I, I, I was just about to ask you that. <laughs> exactly. So you're going and seeing your readings. Okay, my sugar level is looking normal, right? But let's see what's happening here now. So your um, your liver has reduces production of, of sugar, which means things like lactate that your body converts into glucose, you would end up, the liver is not going to convert that. So you could end up with more lactate in your system. That could eventually lead to lactic acidosis, which is high levels of acidity building up in your, in your body. And that could damage your kidneys. That could even damage your liver. These things could damage your vital organs. All right, but let's 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 put that to the side here. Let's look at the next one. Mm -hmm. So now it's it's forcing your cells now to absorb insulin because it increases insulin sensitivity. The very same cells that are rejecting insulin because they're getting in too much sugar. Now it's forcing the cells now to accept something that the cells are saying I'm getting too much of. This going on now increase lipid storage, right, or lipid production. So your body is going to store more fat because your cells saying okay i have to now accept this what i'm going to do with it let me store it lipid storage is going to now cause hormonal imbalances okay right so we setting up ourselves in the in the long term the other thing now is from that your cells now going and even start to reject even more insulin do you know what that means you're going to have to eventually get insulin injections, injections. Now, okay right because your cells are becoming more and more uh, uh, going and reject insulin even more. So you're becoming even more and more diabetic. Right. All right. And that now is going to put even more strain on your system. Now, the other, the, the third one now is that it affects absorption of sugar in your digestive system. Okay. Here's the thing. If it can affect absorption of sugar, it's going to affect absorption of other essential nutrients to the body, yeah. like vitamin B12. What happens if your body is not absorbing vitamin B12 as it should? You're going to get a lot of other health issues. You're going to feel nauseous. You're going to have, uh, you might even develop vomiting, upset feeling, lightheadedness. You could get um, memory loss. So it can even affect your cognitive function because a vitamin B12 deficiency causes things like Alzheimer's and dementia, even strokes, all right? because of a B12 deficiency. So here it is. People are just looking to take a medication to suppress a symptom, mm -hmm. not understanding how that medication is operating, while at the same time they are completely ignoring root cause. Right. Look at all the possible problems that can come about when you ignore Root, the root cause, cause of the problem. And yeah. you're just taking a medication because you want to see a number on a reading, on a reading, on a test that you do, go down. But then when you do the HbA1c, you realize there isn't much change or your, your health issue has gotten worse. worse. And that's yeah. why I tell people, at Setwire's Holistic Health Clinic, our goal and focus is always on root 
cause, not on symptom suppression. But everybody likes symptom suppression because they don't understand the deeper meanings. They don't understand the deeper biological function. That's so therefore, I mean, yeah. ah, when I do this, thing looking good? On a superficial level. On a superficial level, your readings are looking good. But on a deeper level, the HBA will test or things getting worse. Your health continues to decline. Check anybody. Have you ever seen anybody who has been, oh, I've just been using um, the medication, and since I've been using the medication, now I no longer need to use the medication because my glucose has reversed. Or is it that, <laughs> that we always seen people yeah. are, uh, that are diabetic always increasing medication, yeah. and after a period of time, that to go to insulin, and then it's, it's um, and then they go to something and dialysis, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. There's always a downward spiral when it comes to these things. So right. we need to make a change, and that's what Setwire is holistic. Health clinic is all about. All right, people. So you can call set on 761-1952. The number is on the screen, 761-1952. You can also WhatsApp him on 2793935. That is 2793935. Set, always a pleasure. Um, interesting man. And uh, we will chat again next week. Yes, so thanks for having me. All right, cool man. So I'll tell